I just knew from an early age that I was never going to give up travelling. Whatever job or career I got into, travelling was going to form a major part of my life. We've just arrived in San Francisco to start an epic 10 day road trip from San Francisco all the way down to San Diego. We're going to stay in amazing hostels, shooting some awesome workout content for YouTube and hopefully meeting some amazing people along the way. This is our first hostel in San Francisco at two nights here. We started the route in San Francisco and you know going across the Golden Gate Bridge again we rented bikes. This is the hardest part of it, it's not too bad. Just being there, it's kind of momentous. It was a real milestone for me when I crossed that point in 2010. This is Pier 39 where all the sea lines are, but they're massive and they're territorial, they keep knocking each other off. It's ginormous. So from San Francisco we reached this amazing place called Pigeon Point, which is basically this peninsula with this wonderful lighthouse. You'd never imagine there was a hostel there. Out of nowhere, there's this hostel on the edge of the cliff with a jacuzzi overlooking the ocean. And you looked out, and there was dolphins and whales swimming. That's amazing, look at it. From uh, Vancouver to San Diego, it's actually 2,000 miles, so we did it in six weeks. It's weird being back and, and driving it, but it's nice to just stop, enjoy the views, and just take it all in a little bit before we move on. And we found that little spot on the cliff, set up the camera, and filmed an amazing hit session with the lighthouse in the background. We've got the drone up. And then after Pigeon Point, we headed south towards Monterey. This is the famous cannery row. These kind of factories used to can all the fish and sardines. We're going to go and find our hostel. We're going to stay here tonight and then move south to Santa Barbara. Staying in a hostel gives you a chance to meet people. and It definitely encourages you to be more social and to see more of that town. Sorted Plaza. Caramel apple. Look at that. Rocky Road. Toffee apple. I mean, that's taking toffee apple to a new extreme. We landed in this little town called Carmel, which is like a tiny little beach town with really lovely restaurants. We, went, we ended up in this shop that sold like cowboy boots, like proper American cowboy boots and cowboy hats. This has over 300 hours. Wow. This husband and wife have been making saddles for like 25 years. And they're beautiful, they're like $20,000. Absolute settings. Heading south towards San Luis Obispo, we're going to do Hearst Castle today and look at the beautiful coastline. So them guys, they're riding on their motorbikes from San Diego all the way up to Northern California. They sound sick, they sound like aeroplanes. My dad's been saying to me for years, you've got to go and see this castle. This guy, this rich dude, built an amazing house one day, like a hundred years ago. Where it's one of the most opulent, spectacular places you've ever visited. If you get time, it's really worth checking out. Wow. Incredible. Probably the most amazing house you've ever seen in the world. So we stayed on the Pacific Coast Highway the whole time, so you've always got the ocean on your right beautiful expanse of like, you know, rugged coastline, then it just gets smooth into sandy beaches. When I did this trip the first time around, we had a little tent, we'd pitch up on the beach, we'd sleep under lifeguard huts. Actually being in the hostel and meeting people again, having little conversations like where you're heading, what you're up to, and just meeting people from different parts of the world is really what I love about traveling. But I was really excited to head south, because for me, Santa Barbara is one of the coolest towns. Just arrived at our next stop then, which is Santa Barbara. I'm standing in this wicked hostel called The Wayfarer probably the coolest one I've stayed in. I'm going to take you through and have a look around. The kitchen in the Wayfair in Santa Barbara was probably one of the coolest kitchens I've ever seen. Like, it was literally a studio kitchen, so I cooked up a really awesome breakfast burrito. Wow. So here's my room, and they do do bunk beds. When I used to go backpacking, it was like 20 bed dorm. You know, these are like private dorms now, so we can get on, you know, en suite private rooms. So it's definitely changed what I used to think was a hostel. I remember in 2010, I locked my bike up there with Ted. We sat down on the beach, got chatting to a few locals, and I remember thinking, like, this is it, Southern California, this is where we're meant to be. And then we just headed south, kept riding, and um, it just gets more and more fun, really, from this point on.
I love Richmond in Surrey where I live, but I also love Santa Monica, like being on the beach, seeing people surfing and cycling and running along the beach in the morning. It's it's kind of like, it feels like home to me. You know, when I come down the coast, I always feel like when I hit Santa Monica, like this is where I could have been born. I love it. So many people are all different ages, getting involved, exercising. There's kids, there's old geezers with amazing physiques as well. I hope that when I'm like 65, I'm still down Santa Monica banging out the old dips on the ring and stuff. When I turned up in Los Angeles, downtown, it's a really like built up area. You think, you know, there's not gonna be a hostel in this place. It's all gonna be five star hotels. But this place called the Freehand, it felt like a hotel. We had a six bed dorm. They had an outdoor pool on the roof with a wicked cocktail bar. I actually filmed a workout in the room because I wanted to show people that even if you are on the road, you can still stay fit, you can still exercise. And that's my whole, you know, my whole philosophy around fitness is it can be done anywhere, anytime. Mate, when I used to go backpacking in Australia, when I was like, what, 18, 2004, you wouldn't see a pool, let alone, well, you wouldn't see a clean pool, let alone an amazing rooftop pool like this. Savage. We're half an hour from San Diego. We're now in San Diego Mission Beach. People running along, keeping fit, the sun is shining. This is exactly what it's about for me. After LA, we headed south to San Diego, which is the final stop on our trip. We stayed in this really cool hostel, like super multicolored hostel at Ocean Beach. Cheers. Yeah, man. Hello. Hey. Nice little lockers, look. You can lock your bits and bobs up. And they even give you some microbial popcorn, that's a nice touch. So we are about 300 metres from the ocean, our hostel's over there, right in the middle of it, and we've turned up and there's a wicked farmer's market on. Oh my god, look at these brownies. That's amazing. Butterscotch flavour peanut butter. Yeah, pretty much, yeah. That's brilliant. I've been to Mission Beach and Pacific Beach in San Diego, I've never even heard of Ocean Beach. This place is absolutely lit. How amazing is that? Southern California. For me, of all the things I do, it's when I when I'm travelling I feel most alive. It's just going somewhere new, exploring a new place and meeting new people and going out of your comfort zone and saying, I'm gonna go somewhere new, whether it's on your own with a friend, I just think you'll never regret that decision. an amazing trip. I love filming workouts, I love travelling. I've combined the two and I'm hoping that everyone that's watching them is going to be inspired to travel a little bit more but also keep fit when on the go.